Hello, today I'm going to tell you about how to com compile a C++ program in Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is, is a good uh, programming programming tool for for lightweight use. <laughs> and first we open v VS Code Windows Q VS Code. And we open up a folder. Create a C CPP. Hit enter. We go to some program. And there are two ways to compile. If you have installed a, a plugin called Code Runner, it will automatically compile it for you. It's in your right click menu. And you just click Run Code, it will automatically compile. But it's using, it's using G, GCC. But if you want to compile it on MSVC, it won't do it. So, so next, I'm going to tell you how to, how you set up things to compile under MSVC compile. First, I have to set an antivirus on. Basically, you include path and shell setting. settings. There are two ways to do. Uh, for settings, don't worry. Uh, forget about it. First, it's settings and uh, user settings. Uh, it's setting in user settings. There are two things you need to notice. Terminal.integrate.shell in dot windows and shell args dot windows. The first is about which shell you want to use, be it the the CMD or other things like PowerShell, Git Bash. We choose we in fact we have to use CMD here. Uh, from my experiment, PowerShell will just won't do it. The next line is is about which argument you should you should call when opening CMD. The f there are this is an array. The, there are two with two elements. The first is uh, slash k. I think it's backslash k, which means uh, open. Open CMD and uh, after executing the commands, it won't shut down. The second is to open a bat bat file. It's located in the MSVC compiler folder. If you if you open it, it's very interesting.
uh, I think it's this. You open it with an editor. It's basically a tedious batch file, and I have no idea what is it, this is about. But this is actually the msvc, I think it's msvc debug or debug. Visual Studio looking for. It's, I think it's developer command prompt. It's this, and in this prompt you can open MS Build or CL, which is the compiler for C and C++, which we are going to use. But if you open CMD, it just won't do it. So if you, after executing this bad file, the you will get you will get CL and MS build command in your CMD. Let's test it. In the terminal, we have already up, up, we have already executing executed this bad file. When you hit CL, you will do it. Uh, so we have already. We have already have it's already located in my in this menu in this folder and we hit and we should click cl e h s c is that right e h s c capital h s c text dot c p p okay and we test dot hello world work as we expected and something worth noticing is the intelligent sense uh, to in order to intelligent sense you have to include the default standard library and uh, header files you have should have include these in your setting files and I think the setting file is uh, at least you have you have to set up the three menus here, uh, but it's I cannot guarantee you th that these folder these folders are are all you need. Maybe um maybe I will miss something, but I can say at least you in in iOS string it won't it won't report any errors here. So if if here something 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 wrong shows up here. You can click. Uh, I like. It. I think it's a light bulb. You click it, and you set the include include menu path, and you you basically copy and paste the three the three menus here. And you maybe you have to slightly modify it, because I have installed my MSVC compiler in in my drive D. You may have to. You may have to slightly modify it according to your specific situation. Also, you have noticed if you have MSVC build tools, I you should have also installed other other components to in order to compile. At least you should have I think Universal C CRT SDK and uh, and the Windows 10 SDK. The four things here. Maybe maybe it's more than you need, but according to my experience, this we have to install all of these. Universal C runtime is also needed. So these are the essential parts. So basically you you after you have you have done these and the things will, will compile. And if you still have questions, you can uh, you can just uh, click the link and to to see the details. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.